Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Shavi Zayn and I'm coming on to have a discussion with The Chosen. I wanna to talk to you all about the glitch in the matrix. Right now, as we are in the age of Aquarius, we've just entered the year of 2024, many of you have already come into the realization that everything that you thought you knew was all a lie. This is a time where you no longer have to imagine, but let's just say we can imagine this glitch, right? So we imagine a world where religion, Christianity, traditional belief systems that was taught to you by your parents or grandparents was all a huge ritual that would allow you to feed your prayers, your thoughts, your intentions, your emotions, your soul to a false god that was created by a so-called elite group of people who understood that your prayers was powerful if you were praying to the god that they created. Your emotions would be powerful if they were directed towards the energy of the god that they created. Your intentions, your energy, your abundance, everything being channeled and projected towards the God that they created. Imagine a world where the currency that you use and that you value so much is actually just the energetic signature of a so-called elite group of people who recognize that as long as they could keep you blood hungry and thirsty for this fiat, this green paper, that you will always have a need for their system. You will always hunger for the green paper, which has images of dead presidents who were secretly criminals, so-called slave owners, racist. Imagine a world where most of the people that were surrounding you, be it family, friends, lovers, were really karmics. And they all had deceptive agendas where they would work against you and potentially create stumbling blocks for you and traps and snares for you because the whole agenda was to make you the sacrifice, the sacrificial lamb of the family because they understood that you were chosen and destined for greatness. Imagine a world where the lovers that you attracted into your life would be a pawn for the enemy and that they would be the perfect host to siphon your sexual energy, which would then block your creative gifts. It would keep you from becoming the co-creator of your life. And it would then feed the beast your sexual energy to keep it alive. Imagine a world where beauty, true organic, authentic beauty, was then twisted and turned upside down to where they tell you that plastic is the ideal. Fake is the ideal. Anything that is false, is the ideal. Imagine a world where the food that you eat is really not food anymore. It's, you know, created in labs by man. The animals are created and grown in labs by man. Imagine a world where the educational system is not really education at all. There's no real intellect to be found there, but it's all just an indoctrination to place your mind from a very young age at the very vital ages between the years of zero to seven where you're most susceptible and easily molded just to prepare you for the agenda to be used as a slave in on their plantation, working in their fields. What field do you want to work in? In other words, what plantation are you choosing? Imagine a world where everything was fed to you backwards. But realistically though, fast forward to now, most of the chosen realized you don't have to imagine that at all. It's actually the truth. It is actually what you've come to learn to be true. It's no longer I believe, it is now I know. You realize that many of those things and more were all lies 
and it was all conspired. You had a group of people who conspired together to feed the world falsehood and lies in order to maintain their position of power and control over the masses. There's a crack in the matrix now. The system is definitely, it's, it's glitching, okay? It's glitching to the point where you can't unsee anymore. Your spiritual eyes have opened to the point where, you know, you can look at someone and tell if they are carrying a low vibrational spirit. You can look at, at someone and tell if they're carrying a high vibrational spirit. You can tell if someone has decept deceptive motives. You can tell if someone has good motives. You can feel it. The energy is so heightened that it's palpable. When you come to that place and you find that glitch and that crack in the matrix, people who you used to say might have had good intentions towards you, you can pick up on the deceptiveness. Even if it's subtle, you know that what you feel is real. People have to now show their hand. They can't hide from you what their intentions are. And if they try to hide it from you, it still gets illuminated. Because we are in the time where everything must be revealed. And so there is no more where you have to say, this is a conspiracy theory, or this person is just, you know, they, they're a quack or this, you know, no, no more imagining. Even when you consider the healthcare industry, it's not just in your mind that it's not about healthcare. It's about suppressing symptoms, feeding you chemicals, that only suppress symptoms, but then create new symptoms so that you need more chemicals. And then it's just a effect that happens over and over again. It's just a cycle that replays and repeats, replay and repeat, replay and repeat until the body is completely broken down and there's no life left. We don't have to imagine that these things are true anymore because the mask is off. Everything that you see now through your spiritual eyes is starting to become more apparent to more people. And so the more people that I witness and realize the truth about this thing, and we come out and speak the truth of what we really see, the more that the matrix ends up getting, the, the crack grows bigger and bigger and bigger until the entire matrix just explodes and collapses on itself. It's not a lot of people that's ready for that to happen because it's too many people that needed to believe the lie because their entire life was based and centered around helping to create the illusion and to maintain the illusion. Whether it was through the religious structure, whether it was through the politics that they believed in, the governmental structure, where they thought that voting actually meant that you were an upright citizen. It meant that you cared about the people. But when the matrix, when the glitch began to happen, you started to see, oh no, this is one big show. This is one big laughing show. They're putting on a show for the people. Your vote never counted. It was always about getting your signature on the dotted line so that they would know how many people still believed in the matrix, how many people still believed in the illusion. Your signature was a representation of your belief in the matrix. Everything begins to get exposed and there's no one surrounding you whose hand will not be revealed. They can try to hide it all they want to, but they will be unsuccessful. Even you yourself had to start to purge and to vomit up all of those things that you had suppressed and hid and, and tucked away while you walked around with this mask or, you know, bringing your representative to the world. But the more that you dive deeper and you continue to heal and you went through your transformations, the more that you realize that you were inauthentic. And so you look in the mirror one day and you realize, wait a minute, that was never me to begin with. I was conditioned to believe that that was me. I was conditioned to think that that was my personality. I was conditioned to believe that these are the types of people that I was supposed to be surrounded by. And this is the type of work that I was supposed to do. And these are the type of people that I was supposed to love. And this is the type of way that I was supposed to pray. And this is the God that I was supposed to pray to. All of it was fed to us as backwards. And when you wake up, 
and your eyes are truly open and you look around you, you begin to realize this is one big simulation created by a group of people who call themselves the elites that really had an agenda to not only gain power, but to maintain the power. And the only way they could do this was to put heavy spell work over the masses to the point where not only would they do the spell work, but they would have you so much, they would have you so asleep and submerged underneath their spell that you will begin to help to practice the rituals on their behalf to keep the energy flowing. You will begin to eat of the flesh and drink of the blood and have the baptismal and pray to the European God and you would begin to send your children to their indoctrination centers and tell them that this is what education really is and you would then pay thousands of dollars for them to go on to get a higher education but they still come out unlearned and completely asleep to the matrix and so no part of the system ever educated anything because the things that they really needed to know that could purify their soul that could purify their spirit it was not being told to them not even in the church by the pastor and so when you wake up from that sleep state and you start to look around, it can be very, very scary. And you start to wonder, am I the only one that sees this? Is there anyone else that has this understanding? Is there anyone else that is experiencing this glitch in the matrix? Because you can't unsee it once you wake up. Sometimes it's tempting to want to go back to sleep, but you can't. And so just know, if you have discovered the glitch in the matrix, you are highly thought of by the most high. You're highly favored by the most high, the angels and the ancestors, because they don't want you to become a part of the large group of people that will blindly walk themselves into the ditch that has now been dug for the powers that were and any and every one who has actually helped to create these illusions for the masses, all for the sake of power, greed, and ego. You have been saved from the matrix. You have been saved from walking through that crack and slipping through. You're not going to fall in. When this whole thing is completely, the whole uh, illusion is cleared, and the veil has been lifted for the world to see, you will not be blindfolded. You will not be blindsided. You will not be in a position where it takes you, it throws you off, you know, uh, completely off to where you're practically falling backwards because you can't believe what's being revealed to you. No, you will have already understood the truth long before the curtain is lifted for the entire world to see. You are actually a part of helping to lift the curtain, to help remove the veil, to help clear the illusions. That's a large part of your assignment. And so any spiritual downloads that you receive as a chosen seed, you're being called to bring them forward. Speak about them openly. Don't suppress them or hide them because we all play a vital role in exposing the falsehood bringing the truth forward so that people can understand that as they continue to awaken, no, you're not alone. Yes, you are literally walking amongst zombies. You are literally amongst the walking dead that's feeding on the energy of anybody that is purified, at least that's what they want to do, in order to stay alive. But there's many who are going to continue to have a slow death and the more that the chosen continues to awaken it becomes more of a rapid death because they're not able to keep up with the vibration the energy that is becoming more heightened and stronger as we continue to rise and we are those generators those energetic signatures that's projecting a particular energy out into the universe that's shifting and shaping the cosmos and the way that the planets are aligned and how everything is being projected it's all from us first and is being projected outwardly as within so without as above so below and so people have to be ready for what's happening because if you're not ready and if you're still asleep and if you're still feeding on the beast and operating in the Jezebel spirit and if you're still in pleasure seeking behavior patterns and if you're still operating from greed and hatred and if you're still you know uh, working against people 
Your karma is here. You cannot avoid it because it can't be hidden anymore. And so judgment is being called upon the heads of anybody that has the agenda to prevent this shift from happening. Anyone who is working against the chosen, even if they think it's on a small scale, if they tried to play you, if they tried to lie to you, if they tried to use you, if they tried to siphon your energy, if they tried to use you to uplift themselves, if they harmed you in any way possible, judgment is upon their heads and justice is here to work out in your favor. So I just want to remind you all, if you have discovered the glitch in the matrix, give thanks because you are highly favored and there will be many who will remain asleep and the sleeping zombies, the blind will lead the blind and they will all fall into the same ditch that they have dug for themselves while you continue to rise and receive your inheritance, birthright and sovereignty. So that's my message for you all. If it finds, if you find that it resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like and subscribe. Email me if you want a private reading or any of my other services and I will talk to you all next time.